Fan Bingbing, one of China's biggest film stars, appeared on the red carpet at the Berlinale on February 23, 2023. It's seen as her official comeback after being out of the public eye for some time. Five years ago, Fan was involved in a tax evasion scandal. She was classified as a bad artist by Chinese authorities and shut down. At the Berlinale, Fan wore a white Chiang Sam style dress with a lotus flower pattern on it. She attracted a lot of limelight, and Chinese fans were thrilled by her appearance. Yes, so of course, so uh, I'm really happy a lot of fans come to here and saw this movie, yes. But today it's raining here, so maybe it's really lucky for me, yeah. <laughs> Her role in Green Knight, a racy thriller by a Chinese director set in the crime-infested underworld of Seoul, South Korea, brings that chapter to a close. Fan told Reuters she was already preparing for a new film project. Oh, I just uh, reading the new uh, screenplay. Yes, maybe uh, we can uh, we can create create it uh, another. Different roles. Yeah, next time. Why did we choose to cover this Chinese actress in this episode? Because behind her, an unbelievable political turmoil has swept through. Her experience reflects China's very turbulent time over the last five years. In May 2018, Fan Bingbing starred as Wu Yue, the protagonist in a big name movie called Cell Phone 2. As is the industry norm, she posted a social message to promote the film. Writing, Yu Yue is happy on the set of the movie Cell Phone 2. A popular movie, Cell Phone, was released in 2003. It told a story of a well-known talk show host who had an extramarital affair with Yu Yue because of a cell phone, the role played by Fan. The host in the movie became depressed later. The male lead in the movie shared a lot of similarities in many aspects to Sui Yang Yuan, a then-popular talk show host of China's Central Television, who also suffered from depression for many years. This has led many audiences to believe that the real-life host had an extramarital affair. According to him, the movie had caused significant damage to him physically and mentally as well as to his family. When the sequel to the movie started filming, Sui was furious and demanded that the film be stopped but the studio ignored his request despite repeated talks. In order to stop the release of the film, Tsui took to Weibo, a social media in China, and exposed that the actress Fan Bingbing had used a shady contract to receive a total of 60 million yuan, or about 8.6 million for a four-day performance. The so-called shady yin and yang contract refers to two contracts, one that's real for internal use and one that's fake for the external use for the purpose of avoiding tax. Later, Tsui explained that the contract of 8.6 million US dollars for four days worth of work didn't refer to Fan, and that stars involved in the matter weren't any singular person but a group of people. The real amount of money involved was far more than 10 times the amount exposed so far. He told the media he had a drawer filled with such shady contracts in the Chinese film and television industry. He also said that the tax department had already contacted him and might need to provide some materials or clues, and if needed, he would provide all the contracts he had. He said, just pick out anyone who is involved, he or she will have trouble in hand, not only Fan Bingbing, but also all the big names involved. In China, the personal income tax rate is the highest, which is 45%. The corporate income tax is 25%. As a result, movie stars are setting up studios and using companies to avoid the high income tax. Despite this, many high income earners can still find other ways to avoid more income tax, one of which is the Ying Yang contract. Cui Yang Yuan's revelations exploded on the Chinese internet. The many unspoken rules of the film and television industry, such as shady contracts, fake box office records, bribing box offices, smearing rivals, money laundering, and black money, have all returned to the public's attention and become the subject of criticism. Chinese people argue that taxes collected should be used on the people through the state's provision of public services, such as compulsory education, medical care, public safety, public transportation, disease control, and epidemic prevention. But in China, a large amount of taxes and levies, while being the main source of state revenue, are largely siphoned off in the process of redistribution. 
China's taxation is a tool to rob the poor and benefit the rich. The rich can only legally and reasonably evade taxes, but also receive various financial subsidies. While the poor, under the heavy burden of taxation, not only have no way to avoid taxes, but also don't receive the corresponding benefits for their taxes, and they can't even question where the tax money has gone. The Chinese government seems to be waiting for this opportunity, though. In 2018, there were already signs that the Chinese government was short of money, and the Communist Party began to use the same tactics as in the Mao's era to lead the common people to hate the rich and accelerate its ideological shift to the left. There were rumors at the time that the Communist Party was planning to share money from celebrities and other wealthy individuals. And this set of photos came out at that time when the CEOs of Tencent and Jingdong Group visited Yan'an. Pony Ma, CEO of Tencent, and others wore military uniforms and experienced firsthand the unique revolutionary culture of Yan'an, the holy land of the Chinese Communist Party or CCP. The rich and powerful in China had already begun to feel insecure, so they wanted to express their loyalty to the party in this fashion. In this way, a personal feud and entertainment gossip intertwined to become a judicial case. China's state tax agency indicated that it would investigate tax evasion by film and television practitioners, and the CCP media outlets also put out harsh words against Fan Bingbing. This sent the share prices of several major Chinese private companies down. A number of senior executives of a company Fan once endorsed were subject to criminal measures by the police, and billions of yuan in assets were seized. At that time, the CCP's party media, People's Daily, subtly satirized that Fan Bingbing could not enjoy privileges no matter how famous she was, how many fans she had, or how well connected she was. It's an open secret that China's entertainment industry is messy and dark. A lawyer in the entertainment industry said at the time, "Yin and yang contracts are very common in the industry, and everyone is used to the tax evasion of celebrities and turn a blind eye to it." Fan Bingbing was particularly unlucky to be the first fat sheep that the CCP shared off from the entertainers. Not only was she fined 883 million yuan or 129 million U.S. dollars by the official tax bureau, but her career, which was booming at the time, came to an abrupt halt. She didn't appear in any new films in mainland China for five years, and the films she had finished before were banned from airing. Her guest appearances were deleted, and her name disappeared from the movie posters. The Chinese performing arts industry is, in fact, dominated by the Communist Party's second red generation, and it's a place where the top families of the Communist Party launder their money. A female actor with little or no family background can have a very difficult time rising to the top of this circle and becoming a first tier or superstar. The owner of Evergrande, China's second largest real estate company, but now heavily in debt, has been reported to have a special relationship with Fan Bingbing. Fan Bingbing came from a grassroots background. She was born in 1981 when the Chinese society was still quite conservative. Fan was beautiful as a child and liked by many people. Her parents were said to be very strict and didn't permit her to have any boyfriend. On one occasion, her father saw her on the back seat of a boy's bicycle. He stormed out of the house with his slippers, about to get physical. It scared away the boy. After the 1990s, under the influence of the so-called reform and opening up, the whole social atmosphere in China has changed dramatically. In 1996, Fan Bingbing missed her middle school graduation exam because of a car accident. Her parents gave her three options: to repeat her studies and retake the exam, to work in a factory, or to learn a skill in an occupational school. Fan disliked all three options. She was restless. One day, she saw information about a school of stars founded by a famous director in the newspaper, and she thought that being an actress might be a good path. The big director thought Fan looked great and told the admission officer straight, "This little girl doesn't need to take the preliminary exam and the review exam. Let her go straight to the third exam." It didn't take long for Fan to be accepted to the school. In 1996, Fan Bingbing starred in a TV drama, My Fair Princess. The TV drama's ratings exceeded 62.8 percent when it aired, setting a record for Chinese TV dramas since statistics became available. The main three actresses, including Fan, who had little fame before, all rose to fame. Fan later received help from a renowned agent from Taiwan. 
Under the branding of this agent, Fan won huge popularity in the media circles, both at home and abroad. Her quotes were widely circulated, such as, I don't marry a rich family, I am rich. However much slander I can stand, however much praise I can bear. A million arrows will pierce your heart, just get used to it. These quotes upgraded Fan's image who was no longer a silly girl who reacted negatively to negative news. She looked independent, resilient, and strong at heart. And strength is one of the most desired qualities for many white-collar workers in China who are struggling in difficult situations. This public image earned her a lot of fans. Forbes China has a celebrity list. It mainly ranks celebrities from mainland China, Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan, including singers, actors, hosts, directors, models, and athletes. It excludes business and internet celebrities and ranks celebrities according to multiple indicators such as income, visibility, and influence of their works. In the five years before the incident, Fan Bingbing reigned as the number one on the Forbes celebrity list, and public information shows that her annual income was US $43 million in 2017, $34.5 million in 2016, and $18.4 million in 2015. Fan Bingbing starred in a TV series named The Empress of China. It premiered in December 2014 and featured the legendary life of Wu Zetian, the only recognized female emperor in Chinese history. In 2015, Liu Xiaoqing, another well-known actress who also portrayed Wu Zetian before and had been jailed for the same crime, i.e. tax evasion, wrote a memoir titled, Don't Be Afraid to Start Over Again. She gave a copy to Fan Bingbing. The book reads, We are born with nothing. Life is just a trip to the world of fame and fortune. Why should we be afraid to start all over again? Perhaps in 2015, at the peak of her career, Fan Bingbing had no idea that this book, like a prophecy, foretold her future. Liu Xiaoqing was the most popular movie star in the 70s and 80s in China. Overseas Chinese media reported that Liu was jailed for tax evasion because she offended former party leader Jiang Zemin. Liu was on good terms with Deng Xiaoping, the second CCP leader. At the home of Deng, Jiang Zemin was intent on courting Liu, and the actress, who had a successful career at the time, was not guarded enough. She made a joke at Jiang's expense to avoid his lustful gaze. After Deng's death, Jiang Zemin gained real power. According to the media report, Liu's company had no financial problems, but was in fact set up by someone sent by Zhang who made false accounts. It eventually led to Liu losing everything and being sent to prison for 422 days. She later told the Hong Kong media, If I die one day, it will never be a suicide. It must be a homicide. Also in 2015, Fan Bingbing posted a photo on a social media platform with her boyfriend a male actor who was far less well-known than herself, but had some background in the Beijing military. The romance was officially announced, and Fan told the media that he would be her last boyfriend. In 2017, the man announced that the proposal was successful, meaning the two were engaged. However, a year later, Fan's shady contract incident happened. In June 2019, her boyfriend announced that they broke up. Fan's agent from Taiwan was detained for the crime of instructing employees to conceal and intentionally destroy accounting documents and accounting books of the companies involved in the case and obstruct the investigation. Fan Bingbing became a loner overnight and was defined as a bad artist by the official media, falling from the top to the bottom. It said that in order to pay off her debts, she even sold face masks online. At the Berlin Film Festival, after walking the red carpet, Fan attended a press conference. The moment the press conference started, she was asked about how she felt when coming to the Berlin Film Festival after disappearing for months due to the tax controversy five years ago. A staff tried to stop the media right away, stating that you can only ask film-related questions. But Fan was quite frank, and she talked about her state of mind at the time. Um, we, we're going to keep the question related to the film, if that's okay. <laughs> We'll move to the next question, please. <laughs> it's fine. I was at home. I'd really like to thank my friends around the world for the concern they've shown. I was well and at home, dealing with some things. Everyone's life has highs and lows. 
And when you reach a low, you gradually and steadily start to climb back up again. It's a very tough process, but at the same time, you learn a lot of new things and also learn to see things and people in a new way. I think, in retrospect, it was a very good experience for me. So thank you very much for asking the question, and everything is fine with me now. Thank you. Fan tried various ways to make a comeback in China, but in vain. So in the past year, she changed her strategy and shifted her attention to Hong Kong and Korea. In Green Knight, Fan plays the role of Jin Sha, a Chinese immigrant working as a security guard at the Seoul airport. There, she encounters a green-haired woman, a mysterious and rebellious drug trafficker played by Lee Ju Young, who leads her on a journey through Seoul's gritty underworld. The biggest challenge was that I hadn't acted for five years. During these five years, I did a lot of things, but I always wanted to find the right story and character that would allow me to bring my state of mind and emotions at the time to it. Not making a movie for five years is actually quite tough for an actor. Acting is something I love, and it is a process that involves a certain amount of exploration and experimentation. And from that point of view, I really cherished this opportunity more than I ever did before. As for the challenge, I felt I had to use 120% of my ability and give all of myself to get this done right. I wanted to prove to the director that I'm worthy of her trust and prove myself worthy to myself and all the people waiting for me. That was my biggest wish. Coming back to Berlin feels I'm restarting again. Acting is something I will probably be doing my whole life. I'm going to stick to it, no matter where I am or who I'm playing. It is what I want to be doing, and I would like to thank you all, all my friends around the world, for supporting me. I hope to be able to play lots more different roles and to bring them to you in the future. The TV series My Fair Princess, which was a phenomenal hit in China and Asia back then, made three of the main actresses popular. So, what has happened to the remaining two? The first lead, Zhao Wei, was officially listed as a bad artist by Chinese officials in 2021, and all artists who knew her at the time rushed to delete their Weibo posts related to her to show that they were cut off. No clear official reason has been given for Zhao Wei's invisibility so far, and several Chinese media outlets at home and abroad have revealed that she might be involved in an internal struggle at the very top of the CCP. On June 10, 2022, Zhao Wei posted a black and white photo of her father, saying she had nothing, and posted a tribute to him. However, the post was deleted immediately afterwards. The second female lead, Ruby Lin, is a Taiwanese actress who wrote off her studio in mainland China in 2021, moving her acting career from China back to Taiwan. The Taiwanese media wrote, Leaving the double-digit annual growth of China's TV market and returning to her home country, Ruby Lin is facing a Taiwan TV industry that is growing at less than 2%. Ruby Lin's career has peaked in the last two years. In 2021, she produced and starred in the trilogy Light the Night, which was broadcasted exclusively on Netflix worldwide and performed well in the market. It was well liked by the audience. What Fan Bingbing, her predecessors and peers have experienced exhibits the power of a red system. This power is so distorted and bizarre that the beauty, intelligence, hard work, etc. of any individual cannot compete with it. The only way to be truly safe is probably to recognize the nature of the red system and its ideology, to break away from it from one's heart, and to stay away from it.